This conference happens when Kenya is leading the world in the march towards 100% green, clean energy. Renewable energy accounts for almost 90% of our generation and consumption. To achieve net zero carbon emissions by the target year 2050, Kenya requires over 600 billion US dollars in investment. This calls for sustained joint rescue mobilization, partnership, and investment from local and international actors. Harnessing geothermal, wind, and solar energy is a bridge from fossil fuel to fully renewable sustainable energy as per the COP28 commitment on zero carbon emissions. Alongside raising awareness on the negative impact of climate change, we are actively planting seedlings across the country, targeting 15 billion trees by the year 2032. On the other hand, Kenya is assembling electric vehicles. It is another way of progressively reducing and eliminating fossil fuel-powered mobility, which contributes to the carbon emission burden. Distinguished delegates, and our development blueprint, Kenya Vision 2030, we are determined to deploy modern infrastructure across strategic sectors of the economy to catalyze transformation of our nation into a middle-income country. Central to our bottom-up economic transformation agenda is energy efficiency and increasing electricity access, not only through the national grid, but also home-based sources like biogas and solar. Distinguished delegates, our partnership with the International Energy Agency as an association member country is pivotal in our commitment to advancing energy efficiency and renewable energy deployment. The support and technical assistance provided by the International Energy Agency will strengthen our capacity in data collection, policy planning, and drive forward our renewable energy agenda. Indeed, this forms the gist of this conference in cultivating collaboration and strengthening public-private partnership in funding transformative transformative consumer-focused innovations informed by solid research-based data. This is important because impact research requires massive resources in sector-specific disciplines. In this regard, we call upon the international community to ensure resources, as committed during COP28 and similar forums, are availed to, among other initiatives, FAD innovations that promote climate action in Kenya and the African continent. This conference, therefore, is a moment to learn good practices from our peers as well as those ahead of us. It is also time to identify national and international policy gaps that hinder adjustment of equipment, installations, and other infrastructure to allow for competitive technology that is cost effective. On this note, we need to urgently review and harmonize our policies to, among other ways, offer subsidy in the manufacture and installation of energy efficient equipment and other infrastructures. Such subsidies should also apply to the purchase and installation of solar panels and other sources of green energy. As Kenya transitions to green energy, we are addressing the cost of production while making power more reliable and more available. We are hereby inviting investment from regional and international partners to plug the various pillars of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. In particular, we are ready to have direct engagement with companies and other entities for business investment in clean and energy efficiency. Distinguished delegates, we take pride that Kenya is among the five member countries from Africa in the International Energy Agency. We thank you for the confidence in us. 
with Africa emerging as one of the fastest growing regions, the peace, security, and stability we enjoy in Kenya creates an enabling environment for his investments to thrive. We are also the launchpad to accessing the more than 500 million people in the East African community and indeed the rest of the continent. Kenya is ready for business. Let us define and work for the future where energy and efficiency is a catalyst for the inclusive growth and shared prosperity. It is therefore my pleasure to declare this International Energy Agency ninth Annual Global Conference on Energy Efficiency held here in Nairobi officially open. Asante Nisana. I wish you a pleasant stay in Nairobi in Kenya. And please, when you are done in this conference, Kenya is the destination of choice for tourism. And I want to urge you that if you have never been to the Masai Mara, the eighth ward of the world, you don't know what you are missing. Please take advantage when you are here in Nairobi after the conference, take a trip to the Mara and go and see the big five. The elephant, the lion, the king of the jungle, but don't go too near, they are a bit dangerous. Go and see what we have. If you have some bit of time, fly to the Kenyan coast in Mombasa, in Malindi, and do some bit of sunbathing. We have very exotic beaches and very hospitable people. Our cultural heritage is next to none in the world. Go and meet the Maasai people and interact with them and enjoy our cultural heritage. And finally, with a light touch, the foreign exchange you came with, make sure. <laughs> Whatever is remaining, please spread it here. Thank you very much, Asante Nisar. While we have lost biodiversity in destruction of forests and other natural resources to farming, integrating sustainable agriculture and food systems remain central to a clean environment. This is besides innovations that recycle from waste into green energy in form of biogas, electricity for machinery, and other domestic use, especially clean cooking. While food is an important resource, we must work on affordable, easy-to-use innovations, more so for our farmers. Breaking down domestic biomass in the farm is a direct and sustainable way of reducing the greenhouse gases like methane, which are fueling climate change. In this regard, raising awareness, capacity building, and initial investment requires that we work together in community-driven initiatives. Kenya is among African countries that have borne the burden of climate change. We commit to leading continental and global initiatives of combating this phenomena through diverse measures supported. Going green and clean is not enough. We must establish and promote proficient and efficient energy systems in all sectors of our economy. States across the globe are working harder with partners on achieving SDGs by 2030, even as Africa remains focused on a transformed continent as underpinned by Agenda 2063. Such transformation rides on enormous energy. Meeting the growing demand during this decade does not always call for huge generation capacity expansion, but unlocking conservation and efficiency in consumption. We can only transform our world together when we make deliberate efforts of incorporating and doubling energy efficiency in every strand of development. In industry and manufacturing, for instance, proficiency 
ensures less energy is used to produce more. This in turn reduces pressure on the scarce resources as we fight climate change.